Hi everyone. In this session, we are discussing the next theorem called uh, Thevenin's theorem. In the last session, we discussed about reciprocity theorem. With that, we also discussed these are the proved properties, proved set, uh, set of theorems. So, in order to prove all the theorems, uh, there is a there must be a condition like linear circuit and bilateral circuit. Anyhow. Thevenin's theorem statement, statement says, say these uh, set of theorems are applicable for, generally we are going to use for complex circuit. See, once again Thevenin's theorem statement starts with, in any linear bilateral network, however complicated circuit is connected to load can be replaced by a simple equivalent circuit consisting single voltage source in series with a resistance connected across the load. But that single voltage source value is equal to open circuit voltage, open circuit voltage across the load terminal and that single resistance value is equal to the effective resistance of the circuit view from the load terminal into the circuit by replacing all independent voltage sources by short circuit and independent current sources by open circuit. This is how uh, the Thevenin's theorem states. Is it clear? So, uh, from the statement, it is very difficult to understand what the uh, Thevenin's theorem statement says. But let me prove, say, just consider a simple circuit in order to prove the Thevenin's theorem. After prove this theorem, once again, I will state the theorem statement. Then you can try to understand the statement. Let me consider a simple circuit. That simple circuit consists of a voltage source a DC supply and that is connected in series with R1 and connected across some configuration R2, R3, this entire combination is connected across RL. Here first of without applying the theorem, uh, Thevenin's theorem, I mean before obtaining Thevenin's equivalent circuit, just find out what is the current through load by any method. You can apply current divider rule. Uh, Kirchhoff voltage law or Kirchhoff current law, you can apply any method, just find out what is the current through RL and call it as equation 1. Now, then apply Thevenin's theorem for a same circuit, then you will get a simple equivalent circuit. What is that simple equivalent circuit containing a single voltage source in series with a single resistance that is connected across the same load resistance. Now it is very easy to find out what is the current to throw load because it is a single loop circuit. Then compare these two equations. In both the cases, if the current is same, hence it is a proof of a Thevenin's theorem. Is that clear? Now, first of all, let me find out what is current to throw load. See, IL is equal to IL is equal to once again, I would like to apply current divider rule because we can anyhow we can find out what is the total current in the circuit by knowing the total current. Yes, R3 and RL these two are connected in series so that we can write R3 plus RL because these two are connected in series. This series combination is connected across pa parallelly across R2. I mean these two branches are connected in parallel, okay. So when two resistances are connected in parallel, how to find out current through one of the branch by using current divider rule. Now if you want to find out current through RL, what is the formula? R2, R2 divided by R2 plus what is the another resistance value that is series combination of R3 and RL so that we can add these two resistance R3 plus RL into, into total current IT. Is that clear? What is this rule? Current divider rule. Now if, uh, to find out IL 
first we need to find out what is it what is it it is total current therefore it is equal to it is equal to total voltage what is the total voltage v divided by rt rt means total resistance of the circuit is it clear now in order to find out it first we need to calculate what is rt what is rt rt is equal to anyhow what is the effective resistance of the circuit because the voltage is always measured under open circuit condition therefore r1 first these two are in series next r3 plus rl parallel with r2 find out the effective resistance of this series combination then find out the effective resistance of this parallel combination again this entire combination in series with the r1 we are finding the effective resistance between these two terminal that is nothing but rt is it clear so r1 r1 plus plus these two are connected in parallel therefore r2 into r3 plus rl whole divided by r2 plus r3 plus rl because when r1 r2 are connected in parallel what is the effective resistance r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 but what are the two resistances are connected in parallel r2 and r3 rl therefore r2 into r3 plus rl divided by some of the all the resistance let me simplify this rt here itself is yes. rt is equal to first let me take a lcm r1 r1 into r2 i am multiplying this r1 with the denominator plus r1 r3 r1 r3 r1 r3 r3 plus r1 rl plus r1 rl next r2 is multiplying with r3 and rl so first term r2 r2 r3 plus next r2 is multiplying with rl is it clear r2 is multiplying with rl whole divided by R2 plus R3 plus RL. R2 plus R3 plus RL. Is it clear? This is the effective resistance of the this circuit. Now, by knowing RT, substitute in above equation. By knowing RT, substitute in above equation so that you can find out IT. So IT is equal to. I am writing directly. IT is equal to V divided by RT. What is RT? this thing correct ah? so v into this denominator comes in numerator r2 plus r3 plus rl whole divided by this numerator term r1 r1 r2 plus r1 r3 plus r1 rl plus r2 r3 plus r2 rl clear next after finding it substitute in above equation substitute in above equation in order to find out il therefore il is equal to il is equal to r2 divided by r2 plus r3 plus rl il is equal to r2 divided by r2 plus r3 plus rl into it what is it so in above equation you can get what is it so it is equal to v into r2 plus r3 plus rl whole divided by r1 r2 plus r1 r3 plus r1 rl plus r2 r3 plus r2 rl just see the circuit these two terms will get cancelled because r2 r3 rl r2 r3 rl these two terms will get cancelled then what is remaining il is equal to il is equal to 
R2 into V divided by R1 R2 plus R1 R3 plus R1 RL plus R2 R3 plus R2 RL and call it as equation 1. Okay, we determined what is IL. What is IL? What is current through load resistance by applying current divider rule or else you can find out what is the current through load IL by any general method of loop analysis or nodal analysis or any general method you can apply and find out what is IL. Correct. Now in order to prove the Thevenin's theorem, first what is the Thevenin's theorem states that this complicated circuit can be replaced by a simple equivalent circuit containing a single voltage source right what is that single voltage source value that is equal to open circuit voltage across the load terminal so i will change in the same circuit just remove the load just i will remove the load so after removing the load this becomes open circuit voltage across the load terminal and let me call it the open circuit voltage is denoted by V naught. V naught is also known as Thevenin's voltage. Is it clear? Now the voltage across these two terminal is nothing but voltage across R2. Whatever the voltage across R2 is same as V naught because R3 behaves like a redundant element. If the load is removed, the current does not flow through R3. If current is not flowing through R3, there is no question of voltage drop across here. Therefore, we can come to the conclusion, whatever the voltage drop across R2, that is same as V0. Is that clear? So, how to find out voltage drop across R2? So, by knowing the current through R2 and multiplying with R2 by Ohm's law V is equal to I into R. So, and let me call the current in this loop is I. Therefore, what is V naught? V naught is equal to I into R2. So, V naught is equal to V naught is equal to I into R2. But what is I? So, it is a we can now we can consider it is a single loop circuit. Because the second loop, the current through the second loop is zero because load is removed. The, this part, this loop behaves like a open loop. So the current in the first loop is equal to, I is equal to V by R by Ohm's law. What is supply voltage? V. What is R? R1 plus R2. Now these two behaves like a series combination. R1 and R2 is series combination because whatever the current flowing through R1 that is same as R2 because current does not flow through R3 because it is a open terminal. So whenever the current through two different resistance same then only we can call those two resistances are connected in series that's why now we can consider R1 and R2 are connected in series. Then what is the total resistance? R1 plus R2. If the load is closed, I mean if the load is connected, now it is not possible to consider these two are connected in series because what if the current, for example, 5 ampere current is flowing, the same 5 ampere current does not flow through R2, some amount of current will divert. When the load is remote, current does not flow through this branch. So same 5 ampere current flows through R2, then only we can consider these two are connected in series. Is it clear? So therefore, I is equal to V divided by what is R? R1 plus R2. Now substitute in this equation, V0 is equal to, V0 is equal to what is I? V into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Now let me repeat the statement till half of the statement. The, the simple equivalent circuit containing a single voltage source. What is that single voltage source? V0. What is that single? Open circuit voltage across the load terminal. When the load is removed, the circuit becomes open circuit. If you measure the voltage across the uh, load terminal, 
that voltage is known as open circuit voltage that is also known as Thevenin's voltage. Is that clear? So next uh, you need to calculate R0, right? What is R0? Thevenin's resistance. So now let me continue the statement. Open circuit voltage, single voltage source connected in series with single resistance. What is that single resistance? That is the effective resistance of the circuit. That is the effective resistance of the circuit view from the load terminal. So where is the load terminal? These two are the load terminal view from the load terminal view from the load terminal into the circuit view from the load terminal into the circuit by replacing all independent voltage sources by short circuit any independent voltage source in the circuit yes v with a polarity minus to plus this is a independent voltage sources are replaced by independent voltage sources are replaced by short circuit and independent current sources are replaced by open circuit so fortunately there is no independent current source in the circuit now just measure the effective resistance between these two terminal that effective resistance is known as r not that is nothing but Thevenin's resistance is that clear therefore let me calculate r not is equal to yes see now we can consider these two are connected in parallel this parallel combination just shift this r1 at this point now it clearly indicates these two are connected in parallel this parallel combination is connected in series with r3 so therefore r1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 this parallel combination connected in series with R3 is that clear so just simplify this equation R0 is equal to R1 R2 plus just take a LCM R1 R3 plus R2 R3 whole divided by R1 plus R2 so this is known as Thevenin's resistance. Is that clear? Now let me write the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Thevenin's equivalent circuit by knowing V0 and R0. What is that Thevenin's equivalent circuit that contains single voltage source? What is that single voltage source? V0 in series with single resistance. What is that single resistance? R0 that is connected across a same load. What is that same load? RL. Is that clear? Now, this complex circuit, the given complex circuit becomes a its simplest form. Simplest form means what? Single loop circuit. Now, it is very easy to find out what is current to through load. So, now let me calculate what is current to through load. IL is equal to ILC total voltage V0 divided by sum of these two resistance R0 plus RL. Is it clear? Now just substitute what is V0? V0 is equal to V0 is equal to VR2 divided by R1 plus R2. R1 plus R2 whole divided by what is R0? R1 R2 plus R1 R3 plus R2 R3 R1 R2 plus R1 R3 plus R2 R3 whole divided by R1 plus R2 okay see in both numerator and denominator the denominator is same right so R1 plus R2 R1 plus R2 will get cancelled Okay, so next after this, so if you want to cancel this denominator, common denominator R1 plus R2, R1 plus R2, first we must take LCM R1 plus R2, R1 plus R2. After that, we can cancel, cancel these two terms. Now, next simplify. IL is equal to IL is equal to VR2 VR2 whole divided by first 
आर वन आर टू आर वन आर टू प्लस आर वन आर थ्री आर वन आर थ्री नेक्स्ट आर टू आर थ्री आर टू आर थ्री प्लस प्लस आर टू आर थ्री प्लस आर वन आर एल आर वन आर एल प्लस आर टू आर एल एंड कॉल्ड इज इक्वेशन नंबर टू जेट क्लियर जस्ट कंपेयर इक्वेशन वन एंड इक्वेशन टू वी आर टू न्यूमरेटर आर वन आर टू यस इट इज देयर आर वन आर थ्री यस आर टू आर थ्री यस आफ्टर दैट आर वन आर एल आर टू आर एल सो इक्वेशन वन इज डिराइव फ्रॉम एनी जनरल प्रोसीजर फॉर ए गिवन सर्क्यूट टू फाइंड आउट वॉट इज द करेंट थ्रू लोड आफ्टर दैट जस्ट अप्ले किर्चा सॉरी टेविनियंस Theorem: First, find out open circuit voltage, also known as Thevenin's voltage. Then find out Thevenin's resistance. So, effective resistance of the circuit. View from the load terminal into the circuit by replacing all voltage source by short circuit and current source by open circuit. Then write Thevenin's equivalent circuit V not in series with R not connected across same load resistance R L. Now find out what is the current to through load just by applying a simple law called Ohm's law and simplify. You will get the same equation. So from equation one, from equation one and two, so equation one is exactly equal to equation two. Hence, it is a proof of Thevenin's theorem. Say this Thevenin's theorem is not only applicable for DC circuit, or generally we can states that. in any now please concentrate on statement in any linear bilateral network however complicated circuit connected across load impedance if it is ac impedance if the given circuit is dc resistance load impedance can be replaced by simple equivalent circuit containing single voltage source in series with a single impedance that is internal impedance connected across a same load impedance that single voltage source value i mean that thevenin's voltage source value is equal to open circuit voltage across the load terminal that single impedance value or single resistance value known as thevenin's resistance or thevenin's impedance is a effective impedance of the circuit view from the load terminal into the circuit by replacing all independent voltage source by short circuit and current source by a open circuit then write a thevenin's equivalent circuit if it is dc impedance if it is ac resistance thank you okay now let us solve one problem based on uh, thevenin's equivalent circuit see the question obtain thevenin's equivalent circuit for given circuit just see the circuit in the beginning module itself i mentioned what is practical source and if for a practical source for a practical voltage source how the internal resistance is connected for a practical voltage source internal resistance is called connected always in series if it is connected in parallel what happens and what is practical current source how the internal resistance is connected if it is connected in series what happens is it by observing the circuit say forward voltage source is connected in uh, in across parallel with 2 ohm resistor say the voltage across this 2 ohm resistor is also 4 volts if any resistance is connected across any voltage source parallelly across voltage source that resistance becomes redundant element there is no effect of that element on the circuit therefore we can remove this resistance okay similarly if any resistance is connected in series with the current source because whatever the current flowing through this current source same current flowing through 10 ohm resistor also so in such case so we can consider this 10 ohm resistance is a redundant element for we can remove this resistance also it is just like a 
there is no effect of this resistor on the analysis of the circuit. Even if you consider those two elements and analyze, you will get the same answer. So, in order to simplify, uh, simplify the circuit analysis, just remove those redundant elements. Okay. What is the first step to obtain a Thevenin's equivalent circuit? So, here first you no need to find out um, uh, what is that load current and all by applying any general procedure that is only for proof. If any problem is uh, uh, what the question is just find out the Thevenin's equivalent circuit or else find out current to through load by applying the Thevenin's theorem you can directly apply the Thevenin's theorem. Is that clear? What is the first step? First step is first uh, remove the load. First step is remove the load and the voltage across this open circuit terminal V0 and let me call it as V0 and also you can give the polarity plus to minus. Now V0, V0 is the open circuit voltage that is same as voltage across this 1 ampere current source. Now in order to find out what is voltage across this 1 ampere current source, you can apply any method. Kirchhoff voltage law, Kirchhoff current law, source transformation, any method. So, in the first uh, chapter, in the first module, we discussed so many problems. Uh, you know, you have some idea which concept is easy for any given problem. Which is, which concept is suitable for a given problem in order to solve it in a simple way, better way. Is that clear? So, I would like to apply Kirchhoff current law for this circuit in order to find out this V0. Is it clear? Say, the, this is, we can consider this is a node and let me call it as V1, RS V. Is it clear? Just apply KCL for this node. Yes, you know how to apply KCL. KCL for node V. Let me call it as V. Is it clear? So, if when you are applying KCL for any node, all the branch current we are assuming it is a higher potential node. So, therefore, all the branch currents are leaving from the node. Is it clear? So therefore, V, one end is connected to V, another end is connected to ground through the supply 4 volts. But this 4 volt supply drives the current upwards because you know the electrons always high at higher potential they always diffuse us from higher potential to lower potential but current direction always opposite to electrons direction so according to this supply polarity it drives a current upwards is that clear that's why v minus 4 minus what is the voltage across uh, end terminal of this branch zero so let me write v minus 4 is that clear divided by resistance what is Kirchhoff current law? The algebraic sum of the branch current at any node is equal to 0 at any instant of time. So, what is the branch current in this branch? What is the current? So, in order to find by Ohm's law is equal to V by R, right? What is V? Potential difference. What is the potential difference between this across this 3 ohm resistor? V minus 4. That is the potential difference divided by what is the resistance value? 3 ohm resistance. So, V minus 4 divided by 3. Now, what is the current in this branch? Yes, in this branch current source itself uh, value is given. So, that is also supplying the current in the same direction. That is why plus 1. So, 2 branches is over. What is the current through this third branch? Yes, there is a branch. This is a 3 ohm resistor, but in, because of load is removed, this is a open circuit terminal. What is the current through any open circuit terminal? 0, that is why plus 0, that is equal to 0. Is that clear? Now, just simplify this circuit, yes, V by 3 minus 4 by 3 plus 1 is equal to 0. Next, V is equal to 4 by 3 minus 1 divided by 3. Just simplify this. 4 minus 
3 divided by 3. Therefore, V is equal to 1 by 3. Just cross multiply this 3. So, 3, 3 will get cancelled. V is equal to 1 volt. V is equal to 1 volt. But what actually what we are going to find out V naught, right? Say the voltage across this 1 ampere current source is V means then what is V naught? Same because voltage across this branch is exactly same as V naught. If the voltage across 1 ampere current source is V, then what is V naught? V naught is exactly same as V. Is that clear? Therefore, therefore, V naught is equal to V that is equal to 1 volt. Is that clear? Next, so to find, to find R naught, to find R naught. So, what is the procedure to find out R naught? Again, remove the load terminal and replace, remove the load terminal, replace all the voltage source by short circuit and current sources by open circuit. Is it clear? So, what is this value? 8 I think. Now, see, let me write this circuit again. This is the circuit after removing the load and replacing all voltage source by short circuit and current source by open circuit. So, view from the load terminal, what is the in order to find out R naught, what is this value 3 and what is this value 8. Now, this 3 ohm and 8 ohm resistances are connected in series across these two terminal. What is these two terminal? Load terminal. Therefore, R naught is equal to 11 ohms. R naught is equal to 11 ohms. But what is the question? Obtain Tevinian's equivalent circuit. Just draw a Tevinian's equivalent circuit. So, Tevinian's equivalent circuit consists V naught in series with R naught is connected across the same load. Here the load value is not given. So, instead of that just mention load. What is V naught value? 1 volt. What is R naught value? 11. Very simple problem. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let us uh, solve one more problem once again based on the Thevenian's theorem. See the question. Obtains Thevenian's equivalent circuit and find IL. I mean by applying the Thevenian's theorem just find out IL. IL means current to throw the load. Uh, what is the first uh, step to find out Thevenian's equivalent circuit? Just know the value RL is equal to 6 ohm and remove the load terminal. Remove the load terminal and what is this open circuit voltage? V naught give the polarity plus to minus okay once again v naught is equal to here in this case v naught is not exactly same as voltage across 4 ohm resistor because if it is only resistor in the branch if there is no question of current to flow through the resistance because it is a open circuit terminal current does not flow through a open circuit terminal but there is a supply in this branch is that clear? First, we need to calculate what is voltage across this 4 ohm resistor. Then, from that voltage, we need to subtract. According to this polarity, plus to minus polarity, we need to subtract voltage across 4 ohm resistor. From voltage across 4 ohm resistor, minus 5 volts. Is that clear? So, first, let me note node voltage V. Okay. Then, Apply, apply KCL for node V. Apply KCL for node V. Yes, V minus 4. I am not again, I am not explaining how to apply KCL. We already discussed. V minus 4 divided by resistance 4. This current is entering into this node not leaving from the node that's why it is minus 5 plus 
V another end is connected to ground V minus 0 is the potential difference divided by what is the resistance 4 so V divided by 4 next here we not able to apply uh, I mean not able to find out current in this branch because it is an open circuit terminal current even though there is a source at this end current does not flow there is no continuous path for a continuous flow of current so what is the current in this branch zero just simplify this circuit yes how to simplify this circuit one two three branches right so v by 4 minus 1 minus 5 plus v by 4 that is equal to 0 v common factor 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 that is equal to minus 1 minus 5 uh, minus 6 so just shift to this point 6 next v you will get after simplifying this equation by using your calculator you will get v is equal to 12 volts okay now just uh, let me represent at this point see v across 4 ohm resistor is 12 volts with a polarity plus to minus now our question is to find out v naught right just apply kvl for this loop yes apply kvl for this loop what is this polarity minus 12 minus 12 what is the voltage drop across 2 ohm resistor zero because what is this branch open circuit branch what is the current in this branch zero but what is the there is a voltage source here right so again it meets the polarity plus it meets the polarity minus that's why i put minus 12 after that it meets the polarity plus so plus 5 plus 5 again then it meets the polarity plus of that of, of v naught so plus v naught is equal to 0 the algebraic sum of voltages in any closed loop is equal to 0 according to Kirchhoff voltage law. Therefore, V naught is equal to 12 minus 5 that is equal to 7 volts. If you want to prove, you can prove like this. Otherwise, directly you can write V naught is equal to V minus 5. So, therefore, 12 minus 5. So, V naught is equal to 7 volts. Is that clear? So, what is this voltage? Thevenian's voltage. Next, uh, find out Thevenian's resistance. How to find out Thevenian's resistance? The load is already removed and view from the load terminal into the circuit by replacing all voltage sources by short circuit. All voltage sources by short circuit. There are two voltage sources in this circuit. Just replace these two voltage sources by a short circuit and current sources by open circuit. Open circuit means just remove that current source. Okay, what is this resistance? 2 ohm. So, this is the circuit to find out what is that R naught. Now, these two are connected in parallel this parallel combination then connected in series with 2 so r naught is equal to r naught is equal to 4 into 4 divided by 4 plus 4 this entire combination is connected in series with 2 so 4 into 4 16 by 8 so 16 by 8 2 2 plus 2 4 r naught is equal to right now we have both v naught as well as r naught just write the thevenian's equivalent circuit what is that thevenian's equivalent circuit v naught how much 7 volts in series with r naught how much 4 ohm resistor and what is that removed load value rl is equal to rl is equal to 6 ohm i think RL is equal to, yes, RL is equal to 6 ohm. The question is, find what is the current through load, right? Just represent IL. IL is equal to V divided by R naught plus RL. What is R naught? V naught divided by R naught plus RL. What is V naught? Thevenian's voltage. What is R naught? 
Tevinian's resistance. What is RL? 6 ohm resistor. Just substitute this value. IL is equal to 7 by 6 plus 4. 10. So, 0.7 amps. This is how we can find out current through load by applying Tevinian's theorem. Thank you.